Hi, um, today we're working on creating the crochet braids with natural hair. Welcome to all the braiding. Um, my name is Joy Fido. Um, this is just to give you an indication of how you can create amazing cornrows with this natural hair before you can put your crochet on it. So you can see my client has very long natural hair and this is one of the areas people struggle to be able to put the natural hair in a cornrow before they can work with it so all I've done is spray water which we've done in various videos so it allows this hair to stretch see that I'm manipulating it so you can stretch and then I put in there our own product this is our natural hair product from African Queen our new line of business and I just take the cream and I put it in what does it do it helps to soften this hair even more it helps to grow hair you can see my clients hair really long and then now I can comb through now that it's all detangled um, naturally this video is not so much about cornrowing but it's just for you to know how to manage the natural hair before you can cornrow it so I'm going to show you how I've been able to create all the other cornrows so that we're ready to do our crochet so remember when you're cornrowing, you create your session out, the very first one. The next thing I'm doing with natural hair now is making sure, especially when it's grown this long, making sure you create little sections along the way. There's going to be another video that will really explain this better. But I just want you to have a quick idea about this okay so I'm on to the second strand just to make sure you're seeing this I've finished manipulating this and I get the little strand to start with then I'm separating them this is in order for me to be able to pick this hair easily without struggling with the tangled hair the thing with afro hair no matter how much you comb it the minute you let your hand go it goes right back and wraps itself around its, each other so to avoid struggling with the tangledness of natural hair especially when it's this long make sure you create room for yourself so you can pick the hair easily that's what this is doing so once I've got that I put a little hint just a little bit of extensions in the beginning why am I doing that because she got really long hair so I don't need it but I do because it helps to give you a good firm beginning and like I said starting a uh, cornrows or braiding cornrows is not what this video is about it's about just knowing how to work with long natural hair so what I'm doing now is I'm picking the hairs that are dropped out. See that? So they are very easy for me to just pick them and add them on. Remember you must stretch your hand through it completely. See that? If you don't do it, it tangles itself. And learn to separate it. The minute you let go, they rush back and tangle themselves. So make sure they are separated from each other. Then I pick it and I add it in. And 
that was the one I took out so now I take what I want and I add it in and keep push, pulling your hand through like that this is why you must allow the hair to be fully fully soft So you can see your fingers completely and you can know where your strands are like that that's a strand then i just add the hair separated earlier onto it so if it's not fully detangled this is where you struggle yeah see that make sure it's completely stretched out because the beauty with afro hair is it stretches out completely stretchy once it's stretched out you can do things with it that's where we we forget what we're doing with our full hair or rather we don't understand what we're doing with it we think it has to be straight it doesn't have to be straight lots of people put the blow dryer to straighten it no you don't need that once it's stretched out you can manipulate it then you pick it and you add it in okay so come through this last one that I'm going to work with you can see how long this hair is which you know if you are a visitor or someone who's used to this channel we are all about natural hair and how to help it grow and this product I have created hair butter now what I've done is I've put all the natural healthy ingredients in there ingredients that help hair grow so all my kids with their natural hair this is what we use on my hair as well I had to cut my hair the other day because I barely barely have time to be manipulating my hair so it's just growing long under, under my wig which I wear all the time and so I just felt there was no need to just put myself through the trouble of caring for hair and that's what this product does just helps the hair grow so if you're struggling with hair growth natural hair growth please feel free to contact us we've had clients from all over the world asking for this product and it's helped them I've got reviews coming back thank you for helping so we have the solution I've been working with natural hair for so long and I know what it needs that's why I try to talk to you about it so Feel free to contact us about that. That's what it looks like. Okay, so we're working with this particular hair. My niece saw this hair and loved it and asked me to get it for her. So then I got it. Wanna see what it looks like. And that's what I'm gonna be working with. But look at what I've done here. I've finished that strand you can still see the length of the hair all of this is her hair so there's no other way to play around this so I'm going to push this here Sorry. so I'm taking it into that space there and I'll return it back nicely like that and tuck it in now I'll just clip it for now because I'm going to add it into the crochet I've done the same on this side Pulled that strand straight in there and then held it down now the choices you have you could have also used the needle and thread to stitch it in but I don't feel like doing that I'm gonna work straight with it and that's it so next thing you'll be seeing is me pulling the oh I wanted to show you the pattern of cornrow I did which is I put a side pattern here and then I went this way with four cornrows, inserting them in as I go along so I don't have too much of hair to worry about. I did the same on this side, I put five. Because she has quite a lot of long hair to tuck in. Okay, so you can see how much crochet we put in. 
This hair is really beautiful. It's light and very easy to put in. And so far, we've not finished one bag. We're just like halfway. So again, with crochet, crochet is nothing new anymore. It's there. Everyone's offering it. But your main issue is how to get the right conro base to give you the image you want. And so what I've created, we're going to have a side pattern with it. And then the other issue people struggle with is certain hair types are difficult to put in crochet. Some of them are very slippery and don't sit in while some are quite easy. And this one is one of those easy ones. So you remember to put it in and knot it if you have to so it sits in. And I'll just show you one strand what I'm doing. Okay, in your hand, crochet goes in. You can decide how you want to play with it. See that cornrow? You could go halfway if you want it to be fuller. Hair goes in, close it, and take your hair piece. The hair goes into that. And then another. And once you've done that, you push it and it stays firmly in place. Now, if you just let that go, you see that trying to unravel itself. That's what happens with most hair extensions. Now, some people just take it, need two, two strands, and you knot it. I don't do that. I do this. Take it all together. Take a little strand, not too much. Wrap it around the hair. And then I knot it. Watch. Sorry. Wrap it around the strand of hair, all the strand. Take that hair through it. And you've got like a space. And you pull through. And that's completely knotted. Now I take that little strand again and I completely knot it this time. Into two. And take it through each other. And that's how we knot hair normally yeah so that's what i've done with it and that's so you can see all of them sitting in place <laughs>